So this is a recording from the HoloLens 1's perspective. And what I'm doing is recording with a webcam right behind the lens here to try to uh, simulate the field of view that I see as the user as accurately as possible. The view from the front facing camera is never accurate because it shows the entire rendered frame from the game engine or whatever tool you used for rendering. And it doesn't really accurately represent the field of view of the user. So here's the HoloLens 1's field of view. What I did was I put some Microsoft Edge uh, instances on top of my real monitors. This middle monitor is a 32 inch screen and the smaller one is 24 inch, I think. So now I'm gonna put the webcam right up to the lens and show you how close you, you would need to be to see the entire monitor. So here would be like a pretty normal distance from the desk. And this is all that I see. I can see most of this monitor, but not too much. And I tried to align them as best as I could in three space. And I'll do the same with the HoloLens too. And you'll notice some color splitting. Um, that you don't see when your eyes are in the headset. That's just an artifact from recording with a webcam. So hopefully this gives you some idea of what this field of view is like. It's not very high. The Magic Leaps is a little bit bigger and the HoloLens 2s is much bigger. Huh, it shifted. I guess the tracking got confused, but I have enough footage, so I'm gonna stop this part. This will be a recording from behind the HoloLens 2 lens. I'm not sure what those blinking dots are, to be honest, but the HoloLens 2 field of view is much bigger than the HoloLens 1s, so once again, I'll put the webcam right next to the lens and show you the same thing. I tried to align the monitors as best as I could. With the HoloLens 2, it's harder because it tries to angle things so that it's facing the windows are facing directly towards you, which made it a little bit annoying to position this. Also, um, there are some weird distortions with recording from the HoloLens 2 point of view. I think the, I don't know, something with the waveguide and the way that the rays of light go into your eye versus a webcam. But I'm going to move to a position that would be kind of normal to be in front of this monitor. And as you can see, uh, this is also where I stopped before with the HoloLens 1, and I can see most of the 32-inch monitor just from this angle. So this is like a pretty decent amount of distance from my desk, like maybe where I would normally sit if I'm watching a video or something. And I can see most of it. Still not all of it, but it's certainly a lot better than the HoloLens 1. And if I turn it, I can see pretty much the entirety of this 24-inch monitor. So yeah, I'll just look around and show you from these angles. I'll also try turning the opacity down to see if that helps. The opacity of, um, I don't know if opacity is the right word. I would say like opacity of the holograms or brightness of the light. Um, I don't know, kind of helped. But hopefully this gives you an idea of the field of view difference between these two.